For some Vietnamese people, cat is a delicacy. They're killed by drowning. After being skinned and burnt to remove their fur, they're cut up and cooked. In this restaurant, they're served seven different ways. Fried with garlic, boiled or roasted, the dish is particularly popular as a pre-dinner snack, served alongside several glasses of the local beer. For some people, eating cat meat at the beginning of the lunar month brings good luck. It's different to dog meat. We eat dog meat at the end of the lunar month, but we eat cat meat at the beginning. Cat meat is officially illegal, but the restaurant says it doesn't get in any trouble from the authorities. On a busy day, they can serve over a hundred clients. They get the cats from local breeders, but also buy them from so-called traders with few checks as to where they come from. Such is demand, cats are sometimes smuggled across the border from Thailand and Laos. The chef here keeps one as a pet, but when it's big enough, he will kill it and cook it and get a new kitten to repeat the cycle. When my cats become old, we kill them. Because according to our tradition, when a cat gets old, we need to change it and get a younger one. Also, old cats like to leave the house. That's why we kill them and sell them. For pet owners in Hanoi, keeping a cat poses a massive risk. The owners of this restaurant, which serves the even more popular dog meat, keep several cats to catch rats, but say they have to regularly get new ones as they keep getting stolen. My family is sad because we spend a lot of time and energy raising our cats. When we lose a cat, we feel pain. There's a small and growing animal rights campaign in the country to try to get people to change their habits, but at the moment they're fighting a losing battle. Cats are continuing to disappear, only to reappear later on the menu at restaurants like this.